guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'm bringing you an exciting video. Um, I have redone my entire planner setup, and I want to share it with you guys. I feel super organized and put together. I told y'all in the last couple of my videos that I was going to kind of work things around, tweak things a little bit for November and December this year to see kind of where I stand and what I need going forward into 2025. So I've redone my setup to kind of gauge where I'm at, where I want to be before I actually do a lineup video for 2025 or a, not a lineup, a setup video for 2025. So let's go through my planner and see what has changed. First off, you'll notice I did switch discs. These are some clear discs that I got on Amazon. Um, I'll try to link them in the description below. Not sure if you'll be able to find them, um, but I'll try to link something. And the size of these is in between the um, classic Happy Planner and the Expander Disc Happy Planner. So it's like the perfect size. If you've been here long, you know that I've struggled a lot with disc size. Like I can't, for some reason, I cannot function um, with the expander discs, but these feel really good in my hands. These are perfect. So clear discs. I do have my winter cover that I've had for the last couple weeks since they released. Um, and then when we open it up, I have a sneak peek, some new scripture cards. So my therapist was mentioning to me the other day that I needed to have some sticky notes kind of around um, with just some reminders of, of things that I struggle with um, internally, mentally. Um, so I thought, well, why would I do sticky notes to myself when there's all kinds of scripture that talks about things that I struggle with? So I've made a set of six scripture cards. All six are different. They all have different scripture on them. These will be available in my shop um, on, is it the 15th? Friday? Let's look. Friday the 15th, yes. So these will be available sold in a set of six. And I also have matching bookmarks because I am reading more now. So um, I've made matching bookmarks as well. I'll show you little sneak peeks. So we have these two. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. All gorgeous. These are all laminated, nice and sturdy um, to last you a good while. Um, there's a second set and then these are the bookmarks. So I love all of these. I'm missing a bookmark. Oh, this one. So yes, love all the bookmarks, love all the scripture cards. Like I said, these will be available on the 15th of November in my shop. Um, probably actually going to be the 14th that night. If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, I took my ring off earlier because it was flopping around. When my fingers get cold, my ring flops. I don't, it drives me bonkers. Anyways, we'll put it back on. Okay, so those sneak peeks are out of the way. Um, also, I will try to put some pictures up here in the corner for you. I have some exciting new um, word of the year or one little word planner covers and dashboards that are also coming on the 15th. I cannot wait till Christmas is over and I set up my new planner and get my new cover on there. So pay attention to this video. I will, I will put some of those pictures and sneak peeks up here to kind of flash by on the screen for you. Okay. So you know that I always keep my notes pages like half sheets in the front. They're just convenient. I like to have them here just to jot down some lists. One thing I have added is a inbox. So if you're not familiar with what an inbox is, an inbox is kind of like a brain dump to-do list type insert that goes in your planner. Um, if, you're, if you've been here long, you know that I use just a little scrap notebook paper or notebook that I sit beside my desk and I just jot down things that I need to do. And I've got list upon list upon list. But I have a hard time organizing that and keeping up with everything that I write down. So my inbox is going to be basically I brain dump here anytime I have an idea, something that I need to do. And then I have categories up here. Uh, my categories, you fill in your own. Mine are homework, to go, ideas, and finances. So I've got some of those in here. Um, and you'll notice I did 
change up my clear divider. So these clear dividers and the clear side tabs are all available in my shop. I did add the side tabs back. Um, but I used to have a monthly one. But I thought, why in the world do I have a monthly top tab when I've got literally a monthly side tab? So I switched the first tab in my planner to be inbox. So then I have November and December. This is my current weekly. And then I have my home section. Um, I've had the home section for a while now, but I did add some checklists. Now, the inbox checklist, so if you're interested in any of these inserts, um, I went on Etsy and found them. I would love to create some inserts that we could all use. Um, so if you have ideas for inserts, please let me know down in the comments below. I love making inserts. Like that's one of my favorite things to do is make inserts. Um, but for right now, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, I do have the meal plan. I'll, I'll show you those in a minute. But I don't have a whole lot of inserts um, in my shop right now because I'm kind of just playing around to see what all I need. So let me know your ideas in the comments. But anyways, in my home section, I have another checklist or a checklist insert that I downloaded from Etsy. Um, I punched right through the name, so I couldn't tell you the name. I'll try to link everything down in the description below. Um, but I did recently did a food sensitivities test, and oh my gosh, it came back. I'm sensitive to everything I love. So <laughs> I'm going to start a list here based on the sensitivities test of foods to always avoid, at least for the next six weeks or so. So that is um, something that's in my home section, another checklist. Then I've just, this is something I did previously before the actual test uh, but lunch and snack ideas breakfast ideas and then some meal planning that I was just jotting down um, and then we go into my side tab which is meals so all of this is under my home section so the way I've sectioned it off and I hope this makes sense and I'm not all over the place I've got top tabs you can see I've got eight top tabs but under the top tabs, I have other sections that I'm dividing out like this into four side tabs. So in my home section, I have four side tabs, and this makes me feel so organized. If you want to feel organized in your planner, grab some inserts and grab these clear dividers. You're going to feel so organized, and you're going to have everything categorized the way that you need it. Um, so this is my meals side tab. I have a monthly, um, month at a gla glance, a little insert here where I've just kind of jotted out some meals for November. Um, this insert is available in my so shop. So I like just having this insert to just kind of, like I said, kind of plan out the month of meals. And then we go into, I've got some little um, self-adhesive little page flags here. This is my meal planner inventory. This is a new release. Um, insert that is available in my shop as well. This one's called inventory. So you can see I kind of just went through um, my pantry and my freezer when I was meal planning this week and I wrote out um, the main things that I knew that I wanted to meal plan with. This is of course not everything that's in my kitchen. I would be there for days if I actually did that inventory and one day maybe I will. Um, but this is just basically a simple inventory of things that I use often and meals that I had in mind to make and I wanted to see what all I had that was available. So we have that, the meal planner inventory. And then we go into my actual meal planner. So for this week, um, I did, these are more things that I need to pick up at the grocery store, but this is going to be our meal plan for this week. And then I, I noted here for a grocery order, these things need to be ordered on Saturday the 16th. So this is my weekly meal plan inserts, also available in my shop. Now, the cleaning section that is under my home, um, I did grab these inserts off of Etsy as well. And it cut off. I'm going to try to remember to link all of this. I'm making myself a list here. Let me just write down cleaning. That way I can list everything for you. But I just kind of rearranged the order that these were in. So this in set of inserts includes a spring cleaning checklist. The Fly Lady at a Glance, which is basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, I used to be really good at zone cleaning. But since I've been in this house, I have not been. So this is something I want to get back into. So I basically just used her zone cleaning checklist to kind of break my house down into different zones and listed things that I want to do. So that's under my cleaning 
tab, um, a weekly cleaning schedule for zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. So I plan on starting this on Monday. And then I just have some blank fill paper here. My finances, of course, I'm not going to go through that. That is all personal information. But under my top tab that says home, I have a finance tab where my monthly budget goes. And then I have a list section under home. Now, this is something that At Home with Kita recently did on her YouTube channel. Um, she did a life admin freebie Friday, and I think you can probably still sign up to get this freebie. But basically, it's just um, kind of like a, a permanent checklist reminder to keep your home, your finances, your business, everything kind of in order. Just, just reminders of things that you need to do. Um, and she gives lots of examples down here. So this would be for my home, um, household, financial, health and wellness, self-care, auto maintenance, declutter, and subscriptions. Um, just some ones that I was kind of brainstorming on. And of course, I will fill in more of this as I go along. Um, but there's plenty that come with the inserts. I just downloaded it and printed it here. Um, and then I also have a declutter checklist. So things that I want to declutter monthly, of course, planners, books. I'm a book collector <laughs> and a planner collector. So this list will grow as well. And then I have a... Um, Checklist to read and to watch, just different things that I want to read and watch. <clears throat> I've also got some blank checklists in here, um, just, you know, for whatever. I'll probably bring this planner to bed with me every night like I used to and just kind of brain dump in my list sections. Um, and then I have a top tab for business. So in my business section, I have uh, business admin instead of life admin. It says business admin. So the same concept, same kind of list, except for my business. Um, and then I just have lots of different fill paper that I've already filled in um, for my business. And then I have some blank lined paper here. Also under business, I have finances. So I have an income tracker. Here's the name of that. Etsy shop. It's an Anna Lita Designs. If you can see that at the bottom there, um, she's the where she's where I got the zone cleaning inserts and these um, income and expense trackers. So income and expense for my business. I have just this little tab here to mark off where the expenses start, and then I also have a list tab in my business section with some blank checklists. I also have ideas as a top tab. So this is ideas for my shop, ideas for anything, basically. Releases, um, and these are some of the old tabs, so I didn't change these up and add more side tabs. Um, this is where I write down all of the hex codes to match the boxes to the stickers that I release. I have a social media um, tab also where I'm going to track my stats and then I have these content planner inserts that I also got from Etsy that I'm going to be trying to use and then I also have a note section so I have lots of fill paper back here in my notes section so I I'm super excited about my new planner setup. I've been using it for a few days now. I feel, like I said, super duper organized. Um, I feel like every aspect of my life is in a category in my planner now. Um, this is probably going to grow. I'm going to add inserts and may even end up adding or switching around some dividers. But you need this. You need this in your life. You need some dividers. You definitely need um, different uh, categories and dividers in your planner. I, I feel so accomplished right now. So don't forget you can get these um, clear side tab and clear top tab dividers in my shop. You can get your headers out or not headers, divider labels. I also do custom divider labels. So you can tell me what wording you want on your dividers and I'll make those custom for you. So yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Are you 
um, impressed with my setup as impressed as I am because I am super excited about it. I love it. It feels good in my hands. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, planner update video. I will be coming next month at you, which is probably what just in the next few weeks will be in December. And I'll be bringing you an actual 2025 planner setup video. But for now, I'm just going to kind of work around things and tweak some things and see where I stand. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram. So yeah, that is it. I love you guys. I thank y'all so much for watching. Set your timers for November 15th. My website is listed in the description below, pleasantlyplanned.com. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye y'all.